Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Precursor to this conversation. There is no such thing as the Trinity. That is, that uh, uh, somebody somewhere just made that up to feel more comfortable in whatever lifestyle they wanna live. I'm gonna show you what I mean, right? Because what do you, what, what do you know already about what the Trinity doctrine is? Like, what do you, what, right? And that's called the Trinity. And what, what, is, what does that mean? Like, what makes them the Trinity? Or what's the doctrine say about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Go to 1 John 5 and 7. I'm listening to you, brother. All right. Well, who taught? Where did you learn about that? All right. Okay. I got you. Well, first and foremost, there is no such thing as the, the Trinity as a doctrine. All right. Trinity just means three, right? It means series of three, right? That's all it means. But as a doctrine, it doesn't exist. All right. So watch this. This is what the Bible says about the three or the Trinity. Okay. What's your name, brother? I'm sorry. Marcus. All right, I'm Jonathan. All right. We Israel United in Christ. That's who we are. All right. And we teach our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the Israelites, according to the Bible. All right. Not any doctrine, not anybody's opinion, not anybody's feelings. According to the Bible, we are the Israelites. Right. We are the chosen again, people of real? God, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right? All right, come closer, Mike. Come close. We know each other now, right? First John 5 and 7. Let's start there. That's a good series of questions that you got. You ask, what is the what is what is the Trinity and what is the name of God? Right? That's that was your question. Well, they kind of go hand in hand, or the proper understanding of what you're referring to kind of goes hand in hand. All right, read that. This is the book of 1st John, chapter 5 and verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. All right. There are three that bear record in heaven. Read that again. For there are three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What'd you say? Uh, you about to repeat yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. For there are three that bear record in heaven. So it's three that bear record in heaven. So the Trinity teaches what? That all three of them are the same thing, right? Jesus Christ is the Father in heaven. Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ is the Word. One of those things is correct, but they are not all one, right? And we're gonna just kind of distinguish this and separate the differences between them for you real fast, all right? Read. So there are three that bear record in heaven. So three, not one, right? Three that bear record in heaven, read. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Now, what's the word? So it's the Father. So it's the Father, right? Who is the Father? That's God. So who is the Word? Because that was the second one. It says Father, the Word. Huh? No, no, sir. How do you know that? Huh? Oh, 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 okay. I, I feel like you heard us before. I feel, or heard somebody before. Not us, but you heard you heard Israelites before. Y'all sisters, listen up. We talking, we, this is this is for us. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, that's up to you, sister. You know what I mean? Whether our people hear or forbear, it's not going to make the Christ, it's not going to make Christ uh, 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 determinations different. So we said, okay, so who is the word of God? Who's the word? Jesus. Now, how do you know that? Because when somebody asks you these questions, you have to be able to teach them. And, and for them to be beyond our opinion or our feelings, we have to be able to refer to it in the Bible. Understand? We have to be able to call on it in the Bible, in the Word of God. Right? Everybody got an opinion. Right? The Bible even says all counsel, all counselors extol their own counsel. Right? So that means everybody think that what they believe, think that what they're saying is good. Nobody considers the evil or the stupidity in what they're saying, right? So how do you know, biblically, that Jesus is the Word of God? Give me that. 19. What is that? Right? But it, he is the Word of God. How do we know that biblically? I'm going to show you biblically what that means. 
biblically what that means. But that's 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 true. And I'm gonna I'm show you biblically where it's at. But that's true what you said. But you gotta understand what you're saying, bro. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 13. And he was clothed in a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. So this is an image that John the Revelator is seeing of Jesus the Christ come back, right? And his name is called what? The Word of God. So it's multiple scriptures in the Bible that will have you understand that Jesus Christ is the Word of God, right? Give me that in the book of John. And it's in the, um, and that was God, John 1 and 1. Come on. This is the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. In the beginning was the Word, uh -huh. and the Word was with God. So who was in the beginning and with God? Notice I said who? The Word. the Word, and who was He? Who was the first begotten of God? Jesus the Christ. So you got to understand what you're saying. You got to understand, you know what I mean? So you can arrange this understanding in your mind because it's a lot of doctrines that will have you think that they're all one. Like when you approach, your question was about the Trinity. That there is an evil doctrine. It's a doctrine of lies. You understand? And it's somebody's opinion. It's somebody's, it's somebody, it's, it doesn't come out of here, right? This Bible says that they are all different. And not only that, this Bible says that they are not all on the same level too, right? Now, so we found out, this is not a religion, brother. This is a culture. This is your culture. Before you would destroy it as a slave and call it American or African or, 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 or uh, Hamitic or Islamic or Christian, you were called an Israelite. Right. You had a tribe. Your name was in the Bible that we're reading about, that everybody got. Your name was in here. But now when you open the Bible, we don't find our names, do we? We find all these other strange people's names and lifestyles and cultures and histories. But guess what? That's actually your history, brother. That's actually your culture. Actually your culture, right? But but deal with deal with me. Give me a second. All right, so where we at now? We at the name of God, right? So Jesus the Christ was with God. He was the first begotten. So he is the one that was with God, right? Now we got to get on top of that. We got to understand that uh, the, the Holy Ghost. Give me that in Acts. You said... Remember I told you one of those things was correct that you said. What was the Holy Ghost? You said it already. You forgot it. See, you gotta, you gotta, when you rock with it, when you get it from the Bible, it, you can't lose it like that. You understand what I'm saying? I got you, bro. Check it out. Watch this. Yeah, watch this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So what is it that you will be taught out of the Bible that you can resist that the Lord will call you or his prop prophets will call you stiff-necked and uncircumcised, meaning hard-headed and rebellious? What is it? Yeah, what is it that you would not be doing that this Bible teach you to do? Because he called it the Holy Ghost here, right? So how do you resist the Holy Ghost? What does that mean? How do you refuse God? His words and what? Commandments. The Holy Ghost is his commandments. So you have the Father, which is the, the creator of all things, including Christ. Then you have the Son, which is Jesus the Christ. Then you have what he taught, the word of God, which is his commandments. So it's the, and now I'm going to show you the difference, the hierarchy, the tier, the uh, tiership of that. Because it's not all the same like you learn about in Christianity. It's not all the same. It's not all the same. And you know why people like, you know, you know why people like to say the Trinity doctrine? You know why people like to hark on to, hark into that Trinity doctrine? Because if you don't study this Bible, you will be under the misconception or misunderstanding that Jesus Christ would allow you to do whatever you feel like doing. That's right. So if you're a sodomite, you can be a sodomite and God is okay with you, right? If you are, if you are, if you are a hypocrite, you can be a hypocrite and God is all right with you because Jesus, he sent his son so that you can be a hypocrite. He sent his son so you can be a sodomite. He sent his son so you can be a, a murderer, a thief, a liar. That's what the Trinity doctrine teaches, right? Because in the Old Testament, they think they're dealing with God, right? Right? They say Jesus Christ came in the New Testament, so it was just God. We're dealing with God in the Old, not understanding so much about that, right? Because what do you find in the Old Testament? The laws of God. The laws. So to completely avoid having to do what the Bible tells you to do, we say, oh, Trinity doctrine. 
Jesus Christ came to die for us, and Jesus Christ, his father, and what Jesus Christ taught are all one. And Jesus said, uh, 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 come as you are. What's some other lies? Do it thou wilt. Jesus said, uh, 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 you ain't under the law. Jesus said all these things that if you're not studied up, if you haven't been taught right, correctly, you would think that you can do whatever you want to do. That's what you would think. Give me John chapter 8. At verse 45, I come to do the will of my father. Let me show you something about that, bro, because we have That's to right. we have to establish the tiership, the hierarchy of that That's thing. Right. That's right. So can't nobody else trick you in Christianity. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Christ ain't come down here and do what he want to do. So if, let's say you confused and you think God is the one you're dealing with in the Old Testament. He tells you, thou shall not have any gods before me. Thou shall not have any idols. Thou shall not take my name falsely or uh, in vain. Thou shalt keep the Sabbath day. Thou shalt honor thy mother and thy father. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not covet. Let's see that. Let's say that you think that you're dealing with God there, right? Watch this. Forty. What is it? Where I, I come to do? I'm only going to do the will of my Father. It's somewhere in there. Forty. See, see what forty says. Is that it? Read verse 41. Yeah, 40, bro. Watch this. Listen carefully, because what are we establishing? Christ ain't tell you to do nothing but what you think God told you to do. In the Torah, the Old Testament, Christ came to deal with the Old Testament, That's to right. teach you, to command that you keep the old, well, the laws from the Old Testament. Watch this. Come on. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 40. Read. But now you seek to kill me. Uh -huh. A man that have told you the truth. What's the truth? The laws of God. Right. So all Christ was telling was the laws of God. Watch this. Which I have heard of God. Which he have heard of who? Of God. So when you have a child, what do you do? Teach. You teach him. You teach your child. So what God, Christ was taught of his father when he was created was the laws of God. Read. I'm sorry, verse 40. Uh -huh. But now you seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, Read. which I have heard of God. Read. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Uh -huh. They say to him, we be not born of fornication. Read. We have one father, uh -huh. even God. No, no, hold on. Jump, now jump up. Hold on. Jump up to verse 38. Watch this. Watch verse, this. Verse 38. Now who's speaking here? Show the brothers the Bible. So you can see who's speaking here. What it mean when it's in red letter, brothers? What it mean when it's in red letter? Jesus the Christ is speaking. That means when you, get, when you got a Bible, it's called a red letter edition. They, uh, they illuminate where Christ is speaking, right? So Christ is speaking right now. Let's see what Christ say about that. Come on. Verse 38. I speak that which I have seen of my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. So as Christ was taught of his father, right? When we do something aside from what Christ taught us, we're not dealing with God. You understand? So, but with the, the point of this is, Christ is only doing what his father came and told him to do. So with his father, where do we read the, 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 what his father came to do? What his father sent him to do? The, what's the word? The commandments and the laws. That's right. That's the word of God. That's, right. That's what was with God from the beginning. From the beginning, right? Go to, now... Uh, so we so we establish who's the Father, God. Who's the Son, Christ. What's the Holy Ghost? Come on, man. You got it. That is damn, brother. The word. What's the word? The laws and the commandments. That's right. That's right. That's the right. laws and the commandments. Now let no one else confuse you from here, brother. Right. You got the power now. Now you have the understanding of what all of this is about. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.